Hi, my name is Yan, and I work at the French International School in Hong Kong, and I am the Director of Innovation. Today, I would like to share an idea I had when I was teaching French. Some of my students were struggling to memorize new words, so I came up with different solutions, but the one that appeared to me to be the more effective was using Google Sheets. To help my students, I made this template. There is a colon in which they can add the word they need to learn. They get a translation thanks to the Google Translate formula. This way, students can find very quickly the translation while taking note of the new word. I also want them to focus on learning, not searching. So, I introduced the hyperlink formula to get that word put it in a URL, ready to be clicked. But testing is a powerful means of improving learning, not just assessing it, right? So I added another tab, and what it does is it's simply fetching the words the students noted in the previous tab, but without the translation. To do that, we use the array formula. To make things even more interesting, when students had a long list of words, it was time to fire up Flippity. You download a template, and to get your list, don't bother to copy and paste everything. Just erase everything, or almost everything, and use the import range formula. There are a few more steps, like publishing to the web, get the link to view your flashcards, and that's it. This is how you create a powerful notebook for storing, finding, learning, and revising new words. Finally, this is an example I like to share with teachers to show them that Google Sheets can be used in many ways and not only to crunch numbers. Thanks for listening.